Hi there everyone, I'm Mario again from M Studio and welcome to this new exciting tutorial about my top 10 tips and tricks for Cinema 4D. Who am I? I'm a 3D artist and trainer and you might also know me for my free Cinema 4D preset called Toolbox. And if I had to start giving you one useful trick or advice, well, I could say that if you want to simplify the way you use Cinema 4D, if you like free materials, if you want to make even better renders, you should go grab it. It's free. But enough about me, let's start with the first tip of this episode. Hide and show axes. Let's say you are using the pen tool to draw a shape and all of a sudden you want to put a point in here and the axes are in your way. What do you do? Well. What you can do is to use this shortcut, Alt-D or Option-D on a Mac, and bam, your axes are gone. You can go on drawing your shape, and if you start missing your axes and want them back, press Alt-D one more time, and they will show again their pointy face. Second one, show a background image on a view. Let's say you have found the best banana in the world, and you absolutely want to model it in cinema. It might be helpful, to put it in the background of a view and use it as a reference. How you do that? Just click the option menu of a view and choose configure. On the right, a preference panel will appear and in the back tab, you will find a line named image. Guess what? If you click the browse button, you can go grab your banana and put it in the back of your view. You can also move it, changing the offset value and scale it, changing its size. It depends on how big you like your bananas. The third one is invert a selection. I have to say I am a Photoshop guy. One of the first softwares I've ever used is Photoshop. And for me, to select and invert a selection, it's a daily routine. So why not use the same workflow in Cinema 4D? Let's say you have a mesh. I'm very lucky, I have a pig. And you want to select everything but the tail. What you can do is to grab your best preferred selection tool, move to the polygon selection mode and start selecting what you don't want. Exactly, what you don't want. Now that my tail is selected, I go to the select menu and click invert. And bam, now everything but the tail is selected. Extremely useful. Number four, put an object inside another object. How many times have you done this? Add a mesh, select a modifier, I'll use the subdivision surface in this case, parent the mesh to it to obtain whatever result you were shooting for. Well, I think I have spent half of my life doing this. Well, there's a faster way to do it. Select your mesh, hold Alt or Option if you're on a Mac, click the generator or modeling tool you want to use, and bam! The mesh is parented. End of story. Number five, improve the quality of a boolean. My advice is to avoid booleans. They can easily mess up a mesh, but sometimes you have no option. Let's say I want to quickly dig a hole in this cube with a cylinder. I then move both of them into a pool and it all seems okay. But if you show the lines of this new object, it is messed up. And this can be a big problem with textures, normals, and so on and so forth. What you can do to fix it is to click the bool object, go to its options, and check the hide new edges. And bam, your mesh is clean, man. Huh? Was that too much? Number six, merge two materials. Let's say you have this amazing scene in which you are using a lot of materials. You have Maria, Stefano, Carmine, Massimo, and these two others. Sorry for the names and colors. Uh, it's my Italian soul that sometimes needs to impose itself. One day you decide that Maria has to replace Stefano, Carmine, and Massimo because you don't need them anymore. She doesn't need them anymore. The fastest way to do this is to, again, simply hold the ALT key on your keyboard and drag a material over another. This way, when you release your finger, it replaces the one beneath it. Maria, she's a real man-eater. <laughs> it wasn't funny, I know. Number seven, delete unused materials. Now you have Maria in your life. Everyone else is useless. 
and the situation could be worse than this. How many times have you seen this, huh? Tell me the truth. Well, to delete all the materials that are not associated with an object in your scene, you just have to click on the function menu and select remove unused materials. Ciao, ciao! Number eight, quickly find an object. Let's say your project is like a Chinese box. Your structure is very deep like this. How many days have you spent clicking this plus sign here looking for an object? Well, those days are over because if you select one object in your view and you want to show it in your object browser, you just have to go to the view menu and click on scroll to first active. And bam, a round of applause is due. Thanks a lot. Grazie. Grazie mille. Number nine, customize the user interface. Everyone uses a software in its own way. And to make cinema look the way you want, you can add and remove buttons to the user interface. How? You just have to right-click the toolbar and select Customize Palette. A window with an endless number of tools will appear, and if you're looking for anything in particular, you just have to type it in here. Let's add the tool we used in the previous tip. Scroll to... here it is. You drag it to the toolbar and it's there. After adding a new item to the toolbar, remember to save your layout. Otherwise, next time you open Cinema, it will be gone. To do so, go to the Window menu, Customization, Save Layout as, and give it a name. I'll call mine Jeffrey. It's a nice name. If on the contrary you want to remove a tool from here, you just go again to Customize, Palettes, and double-click it. Voila! Number 10. The last one, quickly switch from one project to another. I might have dropped a tier or two when I had found this. I don't know you, but very often I have several projects open in cinema, and to go from one to the other I always have to do this, window click, window click, window click, you get the idea, but not anymore. Follow me and add these three items to your toolbar. Right-click, customize palettes, and search for previous, and drag it. Next, and drag it. Projects. This is less easy to find. There it is. And drag it. Close the menu, and look, I can quickly cycle over all my open projects, and I can also click here and see them as a list. The word is again a beautiful place. Number 11. Yes, I know, I said 10, but there is an 11th one. Download my free preset toolbox. Yes, honestly, give it a try. It's free. And if you like to make things simpler, you shouldn't miss it. You can download it from www.mstudioitaly.com slash toolbox. I'll put the link in the description. And here we are. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Write your comments and questions in the section below. Give me a thumb up if you liked it. Share it with your friends. You can also find me on Facebook at the following address. And I always say, go ahead, make me proud. Ciao.